welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey. I am a graphic designer, a brand designer, and today I'm going to be taking you through the final part of a series I've been doing on my channel, which was designing a brand around a gelato company. Like I mentioned, I have already done, I believe, three videos in the realm of this content already. The first one was all about establishing the strategy and creating the mood boards, and then it was creating the brand marks, and then it was applying it, those items we already made into patterns. And so that's everywhere we're at, and I'm so excited to take it into this final step and make a full brand style guide here for you. Brand style guides are so important because they really create the foundation for your brand. It also helps you to stay consistent with your branding. It's really great because you're able to take this as a client and utilize it moving forward with if you need to apply things on your website, if you need to apply them throughout marketing materials, if you're gonna ever hand this off to another designer or creative or just person, a part of your marketing team, they will know the foundation and how to stay in the lane of your branding. This also helps you establish, obviously, your audience. You'll have all the tools to create your color combinations, to use your type choices, to use your brand marks appropriately, and everything you need in between. Today I'm gonna to walk you through creating Maria mini style guide, and if you like content like this, please consider subscribing down below. I post all kinds of videos around how to do different design items, and then I also share a lot of behind the scenes into my life as being a business owner and having clients and just having a really full plate of creative business items that I work on a daily basis. But let's get into the video. Right off the bat, I just wanna walk you through this overall template I have here. This template is what I use for all my clients. I do evolve it for each one and customize it a little bit, but basically this is a gentle overview of it. It's obviously, of course, all in grayscale, but that's so you can apply all the different colors and branding and personality from the unique business. We have all kinds of different categories here. So first up, we have the mood board and pillars. We have the logo and alternative section. So we'll break down all of that. We have the color palettes, break down all the colors there. We have the typography, break down all the colors there. Or sorry, I'll break down all the type choices and where to get the licensing on that and everything. We have patterns and textures. And then we have the more customized items. So this one right now is currently set for social and messaging. That's my most popular supporting element. Basically with each client, you can select your supporting element that you would like to have as a add on to your current package. It just really depends on an individual and each unique needs, but a lot of times that are social templates. So I have that set up here. That's where I would share whatever once we decided on and finalized there so they could have a preview of it. And then I would also create additional sections if they have any other supporting elements. You can have up to three as being one of my clients, but right now we just have set up for that one. Then the last section is values and character. And so this just gives you a little slight touch into the strategy and so you understand that for various breakdown of where your personality and messaging is supposed to come through. And then we wrap it all up and that's the end. Right off the bat, this does not look very impressive. I think mostly just because there's no personality in it. There's none of the actual fun items from the branding to make it come to life. And that's what we're gonna be doing and accomplishing throughout this video. So we'll definitely just dive in and start applying all the different items from Maria Mini into these different sections and I'll talk about them a little bit along the way. Overall, this is gonna be a pretty high sped up process, so we're gonna move through it pretty quickly. But first of all, I'm just dragging and dropping in work from the other artboards that have already been established and we're diving right in first with the mood board. So all we're doing here is copying and pasting into each block the different graphic items or photos for the style guide to have that tone set in place. The mood board is a great start, of course, for the personality of the branding, and then also to be a good reminder of the type of image style and just reference throughout the whole branding process. 
I like to include this. Sometimes people leave this out. It's up to your own preference, but I also include the pillars for the brand along the bottom as well. Then we jump into creating the brand marks and establishing these. I like to put the main logo into a set where it shows the white space that should be surrounded by the brand mark. And this is just to create that clear guidelines and then have the main brand mark to be focused on. We apply that to the previous set as well. And then we like to break out the rest of the brand marks. So I'm just breaking out the three different options that are the for the alternative marks to be used and their descriptors on why they should be used and where they should be used. Next, we just apply the icon in a various color settings. So there are a visual for multiple options to be able to be used. And that's it for brand marks. First up for the colors, we are just breaking them out into a variety of the color sets. I like to start on this page to show the visual of the overview of all the colors and then also the different tints that could be utilized throughout the branding. It also is helpful to create unique names for each of these. I think it's just kind of fun to apply this and set the separation in these colors. And then I like to create this overview page that has the trio of the colors. This is just a quick visual to see how they can be broken up and which ones are more contrasting with others and compatible as well. Next, we add in the different color blocks that separate between the primary and secondary colors. And then I like to include the different hex numbers and different color codes. What I do is I drop in this hex color into this website called Color Hex, and I am able to see all the RGB and CMYK from that website. This makes it so much easier to be able to apply it throughout each color without having to go back and forth on the typical color aspect that is in Adobe Illustrator. Once these have all been wrapped up, we are all set for our colors, and now the brand can use these throughout any of their marketing needs and through their materials. Here I am just updating the main title and the secondary title to be the picks that we had throughout the brand marks. Normally there would be additional titles as well, but since this is just an example, I only have those two that I'm sharing and I just adjust those to share the alphabet on each of the pages as well. Lastly, I'm dropping in the brand patterns. And so here we have four for Maria Mini, and I just like to separate these for two on each page and have them be the exact same sizing. Lastly, I'm just wrapping everything up. I like to make sure that each of the cover pages have a unique brand color to be utilized. And then of course you can read the type on each of those sections. I finalize the end page by adding a bit of color and updating the titles. And then I also adjust the values and characters. Again, the goal of this to just add a little personality and I update the page markers, which just include the name of the branding and it has the page numbers. And then it also has the date of the project completion. I go in and just adjust that throughout all the pages. And then lastly, wrap up with the welcome page, the main cover page. And what I'm doing here is just adding some colors. The logo, of course, is added there. And I like to add a touch of the brain marks on there as well. This can be different depending on the client, but for this one, I'm just feeling like adding in these little glimpses of this fun little pattern we created. That's a wrap on this video. I'm sorry, you can always hear cars in this setting in this room, but that's it. We finished up the style guide. I love how it looks. I'm so excited to have this for Maria Mini, and it's just great to share. I love sharing these. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them down below. You can also send me a message over on Instagram. I'm always so happy to help. And if you're interested in working together, feel free to uh, go ahead and submit an inquiry on my website, or you can message me as well about that. And we can discuss it there. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.